Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Esther Eckhart from EckhartYoga.com and I'm here to talk about tech neck. So we all can imagine what that's like. We look at the screen all day, whether it's the phone or the laptop or the computer. And what happens is our head shifts back and maybe a little down if it's a laptop. And we spend lots of time during the day like this and it changes our posture and it doesn't change our posture for the better. You, what happens is the, the, the neck shifts forward. So the weight of the head now suddenly isn't carried with the whole spinal column. The chest collapses, which presses, uh, brings weight onto the organs in the, in the belly. So it doesn't just have an effect on neck and we get pain in our neck. It has an effect on everything that's down, going down from there, including the hips and maybe even your knees. So it's quite a new phenomena that we're, we look at. And people, of course, are looking at how can we teach people to counteract the effects of a tech neck and how can we even avoid the tech neck altogether. Now, a few exercises for you that'll help is first one of the main ones that I do a lot and I'll sit sideways so you can see it is um, literally the, the posture of the head. So the tech neck, you see a lot of, I have it myself a little bit. I know that um, it's this where you see people with the neck going forward and the head sticking forward. And if it gets worse, you get the rounded shoulders with it and unfortunately a lot of young people we see it these days so the way to counteract that is not just from an outward view just shifting your head back because there's a lot of um, other muscles that we don't necessarily want to stress out when we do that but it's quite subtle it needs to come from the hyatt bone and the hyatt bone is in the throat and you can google it and get a picture because then you see the location of it um, but the way to do it is to be bring, bring your awareness to the area just underneath the chin here. And you can even place your fingertips there and let that part become soft. And from there, when that is soft, so with softness there, and then the awareness is inside the throat towards the Hyatt bone, but it's right there anyway, is that you walk backwards up stairs. Yeah, about two, just imagine, and that's going from here. So from here, imagine walking backwards up a stair. So you go up and back. And that's what we're going to do. Very gentle, very subtle. From here, up and shift back. And there's still softness. And then you go up, so you lengthen and you shift back. So there's not just something happening here. There's something happening in my whole body. So up, from here, up and back. So not up that the chin goes up because this stays soft and back and up and back and if you are at the point where you feel well as more up and back is not gonna happen then you just stay and you can also feel an effect on your breathing your breathing becomes easier and freer so this is very simple and you can do it a couple of times a day so whenever I've been working on my computer for a while I take a break I have a cup of tea and this is what I do. Another thing you can add to it is where, you, where you're there. So you just look for the boundary of up and back. And then at some point, if you push back, there's a, I can't go further. And you just, you just touch it and then you release. And you touch it and you release. And of course you get like double chin and all that, but this is therapy. <laughs> and you touch it and you release. And you touch it and you release. So it's not about touching and feeling that tension and staying there it's about touching it and release because that's how you soften the muscles that have become overworked so this is a really very subtle important uh, exercise that will really help you with uh, any kind of neck problems and if you can see yourself in the mirror thinking oh oh dear i'm getting a tech neck um, of course mobilizing your shoulders regularly enough um, is very important so bring your fingertips to your shoulders and you can just circle. If you want to do this with your breath, inhaling, arms come up along the front, exhaling down along the back. Don't hold the shoulders still, just let them move. Let the energy come in. And then we can also rotate back the other way. 
So if you have a moment at work, you can do exercise number one and then you can do mobilizing the shoulders and then you can stand up. For this, you may need a belt and you're going to bring the arms behind you. You can interlace the hands, but for most people, the way the bones of the shoulders are shaped, this is not possible. They can't really lift up the arms. So then holding a belt and having the hands further apart is perfect. So you can hold the belt and then lift the shoulders up. Then bring them back and then release them down. And then slide your head back, but not just sliding back, but the way we, we learned. So up backwards up the stairs with the throat from the Hyatt bone. Okay. And then lift your arms and straighten them back. And then lift your shoulders up a little, lift your sternum and collarbones up a little. And we just breathe here. And think about the head. And it becomes a little bit sensitive in the upper back, which is good. And this is a little bit of work. Press the feet down, knees can be a bit bent. So the shoulders aren't pressed down. The shoulder blades are sliding down. But at the same time, the sternum lifts, the collarbones lift, the arms lift. And you bring your shoulders back and the head and notice that tendency to immediately bring the head forward again. Up and back. Taking a few breaths. And release. And then again you can feel... It feels completely different. After this my head, everything sort of moves back. Not because I force it, but because it takes on a new posture after having done that. So the last exercise you can do, we're going down again, <laughs> is lying on the back. So we've kind of worked on it and placing your hands on your upper abdominals. So just underneath the rib cage, you can bring your hands. And when you lift your head, these muscles engage and they have to because otherwise you can't lift your head. So just do that a few times. You can lift your head, inhale and exhale, keeping your chin slightly in bringing the back of the head back down. Inhale, lift. And uh, upper abdominals engage when you do that. And back down. And you keep your chin slightly engaged, so you're sliding the back of the head up. And down. Okay. And now we turn the head to the right, just as far as you can, and it still feels good. You still keep a little bit of length in the back of the head, and we do the same. Lift up. And down. Uh, Lift up, so you increase the tension, the muscle activation, and down. Last one. And down. And then we turn to the other side. And you turn up to a point where it's still okay for you to be, you don't push it. And up. And down. On the in-breath, up. Feel these muscles engage, they're working. And down. And up. A little bit of sliding up along the back of the head and down. And then turn back to center. And you feel, well I feel, a lot of work has been done. Then you can come back up, you can rock up or roll onto the side to come up. Sit back on your pillow if you were sitting on something or just sitting flat, doesn't matter. But just make sure you can comfortably sit. And feel the difference. So again, one last time, remember, from here, from the soft bit here where you glands will swell when you're sick. That's how I remember the spot. Just make it soft and going backwards and up the stairs. So, and it feels easier to do now. My shoulders are back and down. There's space in my chest. I can breathe properly. There's space for the organs. So what it comes down to is retraining your body and retraining, especially holding your body differently and counter, countering the effects of sitting and unconsciously doing that. Of course, it would be even more perfect if you can start to work with your head and shoulders and your chest in the right position. 
Okay, I hope that was helpful information for you. I hope it will help you in your daily life and that your uh, neck will become tension free and right on top of the shoulders again. Thank you for listening and joining. Namaste.